The movie starts with Todd, returning back to his town with his dog Manchi where he meets the preacher of the town, Aaron. Here we see that everybody can hear other men's thoughts. Todd tries to divert his mind and think of something else. When he spots the preacher but fails to do so, whenever he tries to divert his mind, he chants I am Todd Hewitt in his mind. The preacher comes near him and tries to intimidate Todd. He succeeds and decides to go away. On returning back, we learn that Todd stays with his adoptive fathers Ben and Cillian. During dinner, one of the fathers appreciates Todd's efforts to divert his mind but then gets into an argument. When Todd was asleep at night, he subconsciously thought of an incident with the mayor of the town when he was a child. Flashback. The mayor talks to Todd and motivates him to save the town by taming people. Since he was the youngest boy then, he wished for the approval from the mayor and since then he has tried to get recognition from the mayor. One of the fathers was disappointed about the power and control the mayor has on his son. Todd loves to impress the mayor and get in his good books. He feels proud when the mayor appreciates and praises him. On the other side, a woman was seen entering the scene. She was in a spacecraft which was assigned to investigate the missing spaceship that lost contact with the first colony that was approaching the new world. Things went ugly when the aircraft started to get out of control. It was also confusing because she suddenly could hear her male colleague's thoughts. The spacecraft crashed. In the morning, Todd was seen helping his fathers on the field where he spots an intruder wearing an orange jacket. He tries to catch the intruder but loses him. There, he discovers the fallen ship. He rushes to the mayor to be the first one to tell him about the discovery and impress him. But everybody reads his mind and learns about the discovery. The mayor's son and Todd had a cold war between them from the beginning. When the mayor heard about this, he rushed to the site where he saw the spaceship. He inquired about the incident, where he learns from Todd that there was an intruder intruding on his property and decided to follow him. Todd also mentioned that he found it weird that he couldn't read the intruder's thoughts. That's when the mayor realized that the survivor was a woman. He informed everyone to find the woman and bring her to him. Todd was shocked to see a woman for the first time, which led to him informing everyone that he found the woman. Seeing too many strangers in one place, the woman panicked and started running away from the mayor, but soon stopped because the mayor formed a virtual wall. Now, the mayor and the woman were in the room and the mayor started to ask questions relating to the fall in the spaceship. He also informed her that all women were slaughtered in a war. The woman tells the mayor that she was lost and hoped to find a way to call for help. Even though she told the truth, she was skeptical of the mayor. Realizing this, the mayor went out of the room to a crowd of curious men, but not before telling his son to not converse with her. But in being weird and rebellious, he started a conversation along with checking her bag. There, he finds something and starts to fidget with it. Despite her warning him, he continued to do so and the product emitted sparks of fire. Taking the opportunity, the woman ran away but before escaping. She learnt of the mayor's evil intentions of killing her. And capturing the spaceship coming for her rescue, she hid inside Todd's family barn unaware of the fact. Todd being the curious man took the woman's bag and headed to the barn. There, he realized that the woman was hiding inside his barn. At the same moment, a man came to inquire about the woman. As everyone was now aware of the fact that the woman ran away, Todd tried to not give out the location of the woman, but failed to do so as his fathers realized that the woman was hidden inside the barn. They lock her inside and debate whether to inform the mayor or not. The woman did not trust any man after learning about the mayor's intentions and started to find a way out. There, she saw a motorcycle and started to get it to work. On the other side of the property, the family decided to help the woman. They suggest Todd to leave the place and go to Far Branch. He was informed of not revealing the fact that he was from Prentistown. Seconds before he was going to leave on his horse, the mayor came and inquired about the girl. Todd once again tried to control his thoughts but failed again. The group of men headed towards the barn and before they could head inside, the woman started her motorcycle and escaped. Following her, Todd got onto his horse and followed her but during this, his father Cillian was shot. He wanted to go back and check whether his father was okay or not but instead ran away. After going away from the town, both fell from a cliff. The woman's motorcycle was broken and Todd's horse broke his leg. To get it out of his misery, Todd killed him. Seeing this, the woman tried to run away again and was stopped by Todd. He informed her that he wanted to save her and that they should head to Far Branch. They both started their journey on foot. The mayor was still unsure of where Todd and the woman headed. One of the fathers again gave out his location by mistake. On learning about his location, the mayor and his men headed their way. Walking, they reach near a lake where they decide to freshen themselves and find lunch. Todd kills an animal and cooks it. When he takes a bite, he realizes that the food tasted atrocious but pretended that it was edible. The woman took a bite and loved the food. While having lunch, they talk about their families. Todd tells her that aliens killed all the women of her town whereas the woman tells him that she was not from Earth. She stays a little secretive, which is not liked by Todd because he could not read her mind. At night, they take shelter in a man-made shelter, where she tells him that her parents died in a 64-year-long journey from Earth to the New World. In the morning, 
She introduces herself as Viola to Todd and he along with his dog head to Far Branch. There they encounter an alien and hide immediately. But because Todd was thinking out loud, the alien grabs him and they start to fight. When Todd was about to kill him, Viola asked him to stop. Furiously, he backs off and the alien runs away. Walking again, they reached a place which was oddly quiet. There, they meet many people, men and women. The mayor of Far Branch was a woman and she inquired about their introductions. There, Viola informs them that they were from Prentice Down and both were immediately captured. The mayor of Far Branch asks why they came to this town, and Viola tells her about everything that has happened to her till now and wished she could find a way to call for help. The mayor suggests she should go to Haven, another town where she could call for help. After settling down, Viola insists that Todd reads his mother's diary which was left inside the bag by his father. Since he couldn't read, Viola reads it for him. In the diary, the mother shares her feelings about the situation wherein the mayor and the preacher persuades men of the town to kill all women only because they could read all men's thoughts and they couldn't. When Todd learns about this fact, he feels betrayed and runs away to clear his mind. He was sad because no one told him about this incident and betrayed because he used to trust David. On the other hand, David and his men head towards Far Branch. On the way, he and Aaron have a conversation, in which Aaron tells him that it was cowardly for him to try and hide his thoughts. David tries to influence his thinking but realizes that he couldn't. He decides to walk away. There he meets with the mayor of Far Branch who insists they should fight with David and his men. David asks her to give the location of Viola and Todd but she decides to infuriate them and asks him to read her mind. David knew it was impossible to do so and him being the villain of the story magically controls everybody's mind which results in everybody getting on his side. Todd rushes to save Viola but instead finds a man tied down and Viola packing. They run away and hide inside a woman's barn. The woman was scared of them and threatened to kill them. The mayor hears the commotion and follows the voice which lands him outside the barn. He then forces Ben to go inside to get the girl out in order to save his son. He does so and the mayor is pleased but he soon realizes that it was just an illusion. During this time, Viola and Todd run away and head towards Haven. On the way, Aaron catches up with them. He tries to get a hold of the girl but Todd saves her. Aaron was not happy with that and decided to kill his dog. Todd tried to save him but to no avail. After this, Todd tried to come to terms with the reality that his best friend, his dog, was killed in front of him and that he could not do anything to save him. All he could do was think about the happy moments he had with Manchi. Per contra, the mayor was fuming. Viola and Todd decide to continue their journey where they reach a place with an abandoned spaceship, which they then realize is the first colony's ship. She goes inside it and finds the way to contact for help. But the catch was that the antenna was broken. Todd suggests he should try to repair it. When the antenna was repaired and Viola was about to send the signal, Aaron attacked her but she succeeded to kill him and send the signal. On the other side, Todd surrenders himself but does not give out the location of Viola. David, who now lost his patience, shot Ben. Todd was devastated and attacked David but as David had an upper hand, Todd was injured. He tries to hide but David succeeds in loathing him. He plays mind games with Todd and when he was about to kill him, Todd imitated David and starts to play mind games with him wherein he sees a woman singing a song at first but then accusing David of the ruins. One turned into many and David was overwhelmed. Distracted David was attacked by Viola who succeeded in pushing him and killing him. Todd thinks he was about to die and lose consciousness. When Todd woke up, he was stunned to know that he was alive. Viola tells him that he was alive and then takes him to meet other colonists. 